look what we found. They kindly sent me some food to try. And I'm going to be spending three days or so, which means different buffs and different clothing and different locations, cooking that food, telling you what I think about it, and just showing you different ways to heat it up. It's not dehydrated, it's a wet food, it's got the liquid still in there, so it's heavier than, a lot heavier than dehydrated food. The pack's around 300 grams of food in there, but you need to add another 20 or so to get a true weight. So each pack's about 320 grams in weight, so not a light that option. And to be fair, they're not aimed specifically at fat packers. They were aimed at a different market and you normally buy these off the supermarket shelf for just under £3, which isn't a bad price. Um, there are alternatives and most likely, most of you in the backpacking world will know the Wayfarers, or if you're lucky you can get the Army Ration Packs, but you can also get Tesco's do a similar thing and even small, smaller pouches, just about useful. Princes have started doing one as well. So how are we going to be cooking the Thai curry today then? Today I'm going to be using the jet boil, so it can only be one way. I'm going to be using water. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Well, you can see the waterfall. Um, here's our Thai curry. Now it's got a sticky label on there that's a real pain to use, and if we boiled up in just water, then we would get, or the water wouldn't be reusable, we wouldn't be able to use it for a brew. So basically, I'm bagging this up in a, boil, a bag that will, I can boil in, so I can reuse the water. So I'm only having to brew up one, boil ones. But we'll go whack that in. Put some water in. Let's get that down. Now it's going to be a real test for the jet boil today because I've not got much gas in that canister. We really are simmering at the moment. Right, let's open that up. I've made my coffee. As you can see, it does tear open. Rather than pour it into a bowl or eat straight out of the bag like I'm going to. Looks quite appetising. Looks very appetising. Hmm.
That's nice. Oh. The spice level for me is just about right. It's not burning hot. And it's not it's flavor it's flavoursome. Um, It says rice on the packet. Yeah, not not much rice, barely in there. You for me, the portion size is probably just about right. Probably a bit more rice in it, but. And that's been the criticism I've seen online from one of the forums and also from the comments left on the blog. That's the portion size. Flash version of the um, yeah. of the jet boil. So available in three colours: blue, orange, and purple. So you take the cup off. You've got the flux ring on the bottom, same as the current model. And improvements for this year are the head unit. The piezo igniter is actually integral to the burner, um, which uh, obviously makes it a lot more robust. Uh, the, the ceramic part is less likely to get broken. Uh, we've got. Fold out um, controller there. So we just so, so how easy is it to replace the pits, the ignition if you have to? The igniter, you basically, it's a piece of wire that goes yeah. through there. You see inside? If it gets frayed on the end, there you can just pull some more wire through. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we do do spares. The whole thing comes as a, as a, as a, yeah. as a component. You basically just straighten that piece of wire out and pulls through. Okay. It's very simple. Um, so the new version now. Let's give it a little shake. A much, a much better burner. And then obviously, then you can put the yeah. flick the stove on once you've actually lit it. Um, it also comes with the stabilizer which obviously gives it a bit more stability. Um, the other advantage on the new version is we have the gel panel here, which changes colour when the water reaches a critical temperature. So just before boiling, basically. Um, and that will basically, you know, these panels here, just change colour. And what about weight? How does it compare to the old model? Is it the um, same weight? Or? Do you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I imagine it's similar. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's, there's not a huge amount of extra weight to go on there. Um, you get the old one. Fraction heavier, yeah. yeah. Partly because you've got the um, stabilizer. Yeah. So you're still selling the old classic model. We'll ca carry on with the classic at the existing price, and this one will be 85 retail. So a bit dearer, but I think the, the new burner justifies the, the additional cost on there. So.